Brilliant. Uh, Jimio from JoeBlow.com. Simon, I gotta say, I feel like you got you got the violence here. <laughs> <laughs> you know how did you uh, how did you fi finally build this world and and find a way to make it stand on its own, but still connect to the fans that have kind of wanted this the R rated version of this film. Well, I guess it helps that all along from the from the moment I was involved in the film, the studio were always wanting to do it the right way. That was always the, the guys at New Line were always uh, intent on doing that. And then the then the creative process from that point on was how do we do it in a way that doesn't just prioritize that to such a degree that it becomes kind of boring ultimately mm. and doesn't take into account all the other things that we need to to put into a film to make it a make it an enjoyable cinematic experience so that it kind of was easy because there was no there was no sort of you know com combativeness this way pardon the pun it was very much a okay so stylistically where are we going to go with this and that was a much, that was just a, a, a really enjoyable creative process as, as to how to bring in um, that part of the more combat DNA, which is that brutality with, and, and really the thing that I said to those guys early on was, I really feel like we can make a really beautiful, emotional cinematic experience, visually really um, prioritize a visual style and and elegance i guess and it can coexist with the the authentic brutality that's within it i feel like that actually i i liked that the 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 no holes barred sort of fighting aspect of it allowed me to make something that just felt authentic because someone's going to get stabbed blood would come out so it sort of allowed that to happen and I didn't want it to feel too gratuitous. I didn't want it to feel sort of goofy. Mm -hmm. There were a couple of times where I knew we had to sort of, it's a constant balancing act. It was like just just dialing a bit up there, a bit down here. And that was with every aspect of the of the film. All the characters, oh, we need a bit more Sonia, we need a little, you know. So it was just rebalancing the whole time just to get that blend right. And I, I also got to I got to give you props on the score. How much of the score did you borrow from the games in the past and to make this kind of it's a big big beautiful score on you, you got here. Yeah, I mean Ben Wallfish is a genius. Let's just put that on the table. Um, he is an extraordinarily talented guy. And what he did early on because we both agreed that the Mortal Kombat music, which is a key ingredient to the Mortal Kombat world. We need to take that and we need to elevate it. So really the very simple thing we were doing on every single facet and aspect of this film was taking something that existed and elevating it. Mm. And sometimes that means it would transform, but it didn't mean it would sort of radically change. So what Ben did with the music, he did this forensic study on that song, on just the, the Immortal song. Right. Oh, wow. Uh, and he pulled it apart and did this musical forensic study and then took elements from it and did certain things with it that baked it into this big epic score. And then, so what we wanted to happen was this feeling and this, you felt it was Mortal Kombat, but it was in a new massive version of it. And I think Ben did an amazing job with that. I think it's a beautiful score, very emotional, but very powerful. So we also had, we knew there was a sort of a, a, a power and energy that needed to come from a, the fight. So the engine, the rhythmic engine within certain fights, it's also coming from a video game. So we tried to take and innovate and be a little more experimental with at times within certain places, within certain fights. It wasn't always just sort of classic score, but there was a classic score that that was the main framework across it. 
And then we knew we could sort of move in and around within that. And uh, it's it's an amazing score. It's it, extraordinary. Yeah, it's just amazing to be, you know, you come from a commercial background to come into this world. What's the most important thing you've learned and from making this film and maybe moving on into the sequel? Hire very smart people and make them, let them make you look good. Um, that's the key. Um, but I think it's, it's just caring about every single facet and caring about the characters. Mm -hmm and looking at ways to always elevate and respect. Gotcha. And, and when you concentrate on, on each of the, on every facet and aspect, it, you do feel it, you feel it in the end. And I think that is something that I knew in theory and I, I'd sort of achieved it in small amounts in shorter, shorter forms, but to then be able to apply that across uh, feature length was was immensely satisfying. Well, uh, well we got to wrap it up, but uh, wow! I, I congratulations, sir. <laughs> thank you. Thanks very much. I, I, yeah, Cheers. thanks, man. Cheers, okay. guys.